it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Today is um, the night before I'm going to publish this, but I'm going to do the Yes Oh Yes for January 28th, 2019. You think I'd be in 2019 mode. Um, but you know, before we get into this bag and what I think about it, um, I'm just going to give you guys a little update on some things. Um, so first thing is uh, I finally got my ring sent to me from my um, Rachel Zoe box of style. And this is with the replacement ring, the AJ Love replacement ring. And now I'm being very careful not to squeeze it since the last time I put it on, I like barely squeezed it and it just popped in half. So this one looks a little better. Um, I don't know if I just got a really defective one or if their jewelry is just absolute crap, but it's really pretty. So I just wanted to show you guys what that looked like. Um, it, I got it bigger because I figured I'd wear it either on my thumb or this finger since I already have a bunch of rings on the other fingers. But that is that ring. Um, I will link somewhere <laughs> the link to that video. I did it about two weeks ago. And um, so you guys can see um, just another few things that I wanted to let you know that I'm using so you can kind of get an idea. Um, cause I'm not going to do full reviews on every product I get to, but I, I think it's fun to like let you guys know how things are working or what I'm using. So this is the Violet Voss palette, pa uh, palette that I talked about last video. I still love it. It just, I love it. Um, but I've been playing with the Pretty Vulgar powder. This is the powder room mad about you. I gave my daughter the powder puff. She saw it and she like freaked out and wanted it. So I apply it with a brush. It's doing pretty good. Now I put this on at five in the morning, like my whole face, and it is like almost eight o'clock at night. Worked a whole day, played with the kids, all that good stuff rubbed all over my face. And I don't feel like it's too drying. Now I don't do a full foundation, I do concealer, um, and then a good primer and everything. And I don't, I don't think it looks too bad. I have very dry skin, so I don't get oily, but it didn't settle until all my fine cracks cracks, crevices, whatever you call them, wrinkles too badly. So I think that turned out pretty well. Lipstick products or products that I'm using is this Sephora lip pencil in the color Nutcracker. I got this in a Sephora kit. I um, did a video on that. Again, I'll try to remember to link that. It's just a really pretty nude color and I really love it for my base. The color stays on a long time. And then today I did it over with this Tardis lip paint in the color Insta Famous that came in my Boxy Charm box. Um, this is a really pretty combo. My only problem with it is this smells like a freaking donut or candy or something, and it throws me off. Like I feel like I have a donut on my face. I keep getting whiffs of that smell, and it's a little overpowering. The other thing is, is their formula is a little bit tacky for my taste, but it's pretty. So I'll keep using it, but those are the two things like this, not so awesome with this. All right, let's get into this. All right, guys. So I did tape up December's box. I didn't get it in here. And if I run out of videos to do, I'll post it up later, but um, I just got behind. So, uh, oh, and I forgot to do one thing. I was going to show you guys something, but I'm going to hold off for now. Okay, let's just get into it. Uh, the theme, they did actually do a card this month. Last month, they did not. It's 2019, yes oh yes, it's all about you. And then they have the prices, which are far more realistic than uh, the November one, where the prices were not accurate to what you were getting. They try to tell you how much savings. This box is, I think it's like... 16 or 17 dollars and then shipping um it's not very much but it's it's like right up to 18 dollars so that is the card here so i'll go into everything they did spoil that we were going to get the crown palette the omg eyeshadow uh palette i think is what this one yeah 10 color omg eyeshadow collection i have one other crown palette i forgot to show you guys in my um palette review you know what? I'm going to pause because I want to grab one other thing and then I'm going to show you it. All right, I'm back. So the only other crown product I've ever had beyond their brushes, which I do like their brushes, is I got this at some sale that they were having because the crown always has sales. Like 
always. You can always get their products like super cheap. And so this was like a sale and you got some extra brushes. And so this was the 35 color back to base eyeshadow palette. I forgot to show this in my palette declutter slash collection video. And I so far have only used this a little bit. I haven't really loved it. Quality wasn't that great. So I I'm gonna play with it a bit more, but this does not lead me to be as excited. Um, I didn't get the crown palette and the boxy charm. So anyway, we knew it was gonna be a really colorful palette and this is what it looks like. And it's really pretty. Now I will show you guys something that kind of bothered me when I opened it. And this is just nitpicky, but it just kind of bothers me. So if you can look up close, can you see above each shadow here? There's like a divot in the packaging and the packaging is really scratched up. The actual shadows look fine, but yeah, each, um, each thing, it's like the machine that put these in just like scratched the heck out of this. So I almost feel like Crown was like, eh, these are the reject, not so pretty palettes. Yes, please resell these in a box. Um, so that's, that's a bit of a disappointment. Now it's not a very expensive palette. It is a $10 palette. So what do I expect for 10 bucks? Like, you know, and it is pretty colors. So I'm just gonna swatch a few of these colors here. I'm gonna do these three colors here. So this is a matte and two shimmers. And just to kind of give you guys an idea. So the, not horrible. This, this shimmer metallic is probably the best, but I don't know. I just don't hold out a lot of hope for this palette. Maybe I'm being not optimistic. Um, but you know, my, my track record isn't great with crown palettes. I'm going to try just a few more shades here to see. We'll do this really pretty blue color. Let's do this shimmery purple. And then to give them the benefit of the doubt, I'll do this coppery color. Those swatch a little nicer. Yeah, I think the copper tones and the brown tones are going to do real nicely. Purples look a little patchy to me, but these are just swatches. So at some point I will play with this um, and we'll see. So, but I do, kudos, it is a pretty, pretty palette. So I'll give you that. I just, I don't know about the quality. Like for a $10 palette, there are so many other $10 brands that I think do really quality. And I just have not really seen great quality out of Crown's makeup, but Maybe I'll be full this time. Um, all right, so let's move on to the next product, which is a Beauty Creations Lip Long Wear Matte Lip Gloss. Now, I do like Beauty Creations palettes. They're inexpensive, but I do like them. And this is in the color Mocha. So this is a dark color. Like, it is... It looks like it'd be the same color as this, but you can see this has more pinky undertone and this just looks more brown. Um, I'm not going to be opening this. And the reason is, is I have this from like a glossy box a while back. This is the Sweetheart color, which is a more pinky color. And I have not really used it at all because I don't like liquid lipsticks. This was the Sweetheart color. I think you got a variation of colors in here but I'm gonna let this dry down and show you guys a little bit later, but I just don't reach for it. So I don't really wanna open this when I could give this to somebody else who would actually utilize it and like it. I just, I like lip crayons and I like lipsticks and I like lip glosses. I don't like matte formulas and I don't like liquid lipsticks. That's just me. Um, so this is, this is worth, $8. So we're up to $18. So we've made our money back, although I'm not that happy about it. This is the next product. Um, this is the NCLA in this is Hollywood. And for once I got an NCLA that's not, it's been drinking, which is a really pretty color and it didn't leak. Like if you see any of my other videos with this nail polish brand, they always leak, but this one didn't. I actually really like this shade. It is just a chunky, pretty glitter. And I actually kind of wish that they had put this in the December box because this would have been a fabulous thing for New Year's. As you can see, they're really pretty. 
I actually, this would be something I would actually wear on my regular nails because I only really wear clear or just a nude color if I do at all. Um, or as a topper on my toenails or my daughter um, would absolutely love this. So I am actually really, really like this. Now they price this at $21. Seems a little pricey for a nail polish. I would never pay that, but this is basically more than the box. Um, this is also uh, supposed to be vegan and cruelty free and it's supposed to be free of a lot of like the seven free. I have to do a whole video on my thoughts about nail polishes that are free of all the products and what that means. Um, and, and you know, like all the major chemicals, seven free versus 10 free, and my personal experience about that, I don't think it's all that it's cracked up to be. And at some point I need to do a video on that because I had a really awful experience with one of these. But this brand, their nail polish formula does do okay on my nails and doesn't destroy them. Um, so to go back to that lip matte, you can see it dries down very matte. It's transfer proof. So it's great if you like a liquid lipstick. I think it's a really nice formula, just not for me. All right, let's move on. Next product here is the Appeal Pigment. I have actually never tried this brand um, and I was gonna open this up, I hadn't played with this. I have one other loose pigment and I actually really like it. Um, and so I'm willing to give loose pigments a chance. They're definitely different to work with. And let me see if I can just get a little bit on here. They're a little messy, but you can see a little bit here. Let me put a little bit more. They're very messy, but I really love how vibrant loose pigments can be. So it's kind of this charcoaly slate color. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. So it's like a gray with a little hint of blue and very fine silver sparkle. So for a dark dramatic eye or smoking out, this would be really pretty. Um, you have to have a very, like, very specific technique with loose powders because they are, they're loose pigments. They're a little bit more difficult to work with. Um, so if you're not used to working with them, you can make an utter and complete mess. But I have since learned how to work with them and I actually really do like them. So that's really pretty. I actually, I don't mind this, um, but I could see how a lot of people would not be excited about this. And this is $21 and that seems really expensive, but I've seen loose pigments go for quite a lot. Like it always appalls me at how much loose pigments cost. All right, final product here is this INMO -M Universe Star Highlighter. It came in this box here and I've never heard of this brand at all. <laughs> and this is in the color Twilight. And they say that this is $10. This is a very weird, weird product. I don't know what to think about it. So this is what it looks like. It definitely seems like it would be dark for a highlighter. And I was playing with this the other day. It's got this really like, um, like sticky formulation almost, if that's the way it like, it, it feels like it's trying to be loose, but then it's, or not loose, like cream, but it's not a cream. And it sticks really quickly. So once you put it down, it kind of sticks and then it's kind of hard to blend. Like this is not one I would, I think would go on real well with a brush. Like I think you would want to tap this on with your finger, but you can see it just doesn't, it's kind of takes a little work to blend that out. So I just don't know about this product. This might be better for like a brow bone highlight or maybe an inner corner. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to blend on the cheek, just playing with it how I am right now. But I'm gonna play with it more and see. It definitely has a pinky undertone. Um, but yeah, I think it's supposed to be more like that blush or not blush, that cream formulation, but it just, it's weird. Like, it's a weird formulation. So I don't know what to think about it. All right, guys, that is the entire box. So total value is $70. I actually think they're probably correct this time. Um, this is a hit for me. This is a hit for me. This is a, I don't know. This is a not a hit, but that's not their fault and this is a I don't know so we have two hits and two I don't knows and one no so 
I'm kind of like 50-50 on this box. I think I'm gonna give it one more month. Um, I've been doing it now for like four or five months. You supposedly get a big bag of goodies if you do them a whole year. And I just don't know if it's gonna be worth it. There are other boxes that I am more interested in that I've been eyeing and I'm trying to be good this year and not order any extra subscriptions unless I get rid of some old subscriptions. So tell me what you guys think about this. Um, would you keep this? Do you think this is a good subscription? What did you think of all the products in here? I'm gonna play with them a bit more and then I think every video I'm gonna try to just update a little bit about a product because I kind of like that format to give you guys an update on what I've been playing with before I get into whatever the content of the video is. So that is it and I hope you guys have a fantastic Saturday. I will be working all day Saturday <laughs> um, or today as this video goes up. I uh, So this is why I'm taping it the night before. I will be back for a video on Tuesday. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet because I'm still waiting for a couple of my boxes to come in, but I may do like a makeup review or something else. So um, stay tuned. All right guys, thanks as always for watching. Give me um, feedback, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the warning bell, and please share this video with anyone you think would enjoy my content. As always, thanks guys.